Yeah. It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined by Rob Jones. How are you doing, Rob? Very good, thanks. How are you? Not too bad. And Arthur Daly, Brew Wales. Uh, today we're here to do a beer review in the, the arcade in Cardiff. Your beer, Swift Half. Why do they call it Swift Half? Because I was a Swift yeah. Half back, I believe, yeah. And only half a point in terms of my size. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. Now, Rob played for Wales, um, he played for the British Lions, but the club, is it Cardiff or an athlete? Swansea. Swansea, oh my god. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh. It's over the Turks in the jaw. Oh, I can't believe that. It was a chat through and through. Although I did have, I did have a season in Cardiff, I've got to be honest. Brilliant. Towards the end of my career. So, talking about the beer, very nice colour, I like the colour. Did you, did you want a light beer when you brewed it with brains? I did, yeah. I wanted a light uh, beer. I wanted it quite uh, sweet and we've got some uh, New Zealand, American, sorry, Australian, American hops. Brilliant. Just to sort of uh, give it a nice flavour. You know your beer. Well, as I told Bob, it's, uh, it's a good looking pint. Yeah. Very much like its, uh, its producer. Yeah. It's uh, smooth, it's light, it's tasty. So it's got a lot going for it, actually. Brilliant. Should we dive in? Should we get some taste? Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's have a bit. I mean, there's a great aroma to this as well. Uh, you get lots of citrus flavour, lots of grapefruit in there. So um, that's why my hand over the moon to take yeah. off at the taste now. Yeah, I was, was going to say the same. Nice grapefruity, biscuity. It is actually a pleasant place. Yeah. 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 I surprised myself. And a 4.2% is one of them beers that. I, I preferred it to the other one. <laughs> At 4.2%, you could sit either whether you're an afternoon drinker, an evening drinker, and enjoy three or four of these yeah. without being, you know, too strong. Oh, I think it is. It's a, it's a pleasant thing, as I said. You can sit down on a Sunday afternoon and have a couple of quiet beers, you can go back and then you can do whatever you've got to do without getting sort of overloading you in terms of weight or being heavy. and. And uh, you know, it's strong enough, or oh, sorry, it's not strong enough for really you to, to make me go home, jump in the bed, and, and sleep for the rest of the night. That's it, that's it. <laughs> well, that's lovely, sir. It's a really pleasant drink. Brilliant. Arthur, a couple of questions about beer and rugby? Well, beer and rugby, I think. You know, when you were on tour, yeah. was the beer better abroad or better in Cardiff? You don't have to say, you know, because you're coming back to Wales. No, no, no. It's, what was the best beer you tried when you were on tour? Well, there were so many. There were so many. Yeah. That's all we did was drink it over there. I think you know when you went to Australia in particular, you tend to end up with most of the, you know, it is basically Foster's and, yeah. and uh, sort of uh, Castle Lane and all that. You know, you go to you go to New Zealand and then you've got you know basically you've got Stein Lager and stuff like that. Very very tried a proper beer. To be honest, you know, most was Bokka, most was Cali, you know, Castle Lager and stuff like that in South yeah. Africa. Um, so, apart from sort of the UK and you know some of the beers in, 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 in sort of France, now, I, I don't think I've ever really had or gone into a pub or a bar and asked for a pint of anything in particular. That, that it, it even resembles a pint like a Prince pint or a, or a Welsh pint or a proper ale or a proper beer. So no, I, no, no, because your face is on the pump, then that would be a change, though, wouldn't it? Because you'll oh. you, you, be asking for that. Oh, well, absolutely. You know, yeah, I went back in Swift Half, which is my number one here, uh, for, 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 I was going to say, the rest of my life, for until, <laughs> until the 10 bar, I've been made runs out. No, only 10, no, they're probably afraid oh, they until they've got the upgrade. This, this would be the next round, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. What do you... Does the dog fall comfortably? What do you make of the craft beer revolution and all of these new craft breweries opening in Wales and, and it seems to be a booming industry now, bars opening all the time. Yeah. What do you make of it? Do you like it? Do, do you... To be honest, I, I do. I mean, I think you can go to most towns uh, and cities and find two or three microbreweries in, in pubs and that, you know. Um, Swansea, I've said Swansea Boy, uh, down in the Mumbles, there's a couple down in the Mumbles. Yeah. The uh, pilot has just got the camera pilot. up of the earth at Wales, though. So, yeah, you know, so there's, there's they've got a microbrewery there. Lee Fails, Lee Fails, there's, uh, there's, I mean, there's quite a few down the Goa, there's Goa. Yeah, the Goa, the Goa Power. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of and, and to be honest with you, it's nice to try something yeah. different yeah. because I think up until, you know, probably the last 
five, six years, you tend to go to pubs and it was the norm. Yeah. You know, you come to, come to Cardiff and, and Greens were predominantly, you know, in most bars. In Swansea, you had, you know, the, the normal beers, but no, you can go and try something different where you go almost. Yeah. And I, think, I think it is good, it's good, certainly good for the trade, you know, when, when unfortunately over the year, over the last few years, the recession, pubs have tended to lose them, their identity, but no, it's all back up here, but I think my yeah. brewery, Brewery's and what have you have really helped water. Yeah, brilliant. Really. Cheers to Wales, hey, everybody. Cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Pleasure. Cheers.